Uh, yeah, the, um, the very basis for the government uh, policy ever since uh, that uh, 1947 to 50 uh, study based on uh, jars of salt water heating up, uh -huh. uh, the, the very basis for the whole policy is the image of the organism as a bag of chemicals in water, okay. all the water solution, <laughs> an absolutely never founded uh, model of what the organism is. Right. Uh, so it's, it's a, it's a horrible fantasy idea which leads all of these uh, corporate and government people to say, right. oh, there's no danger, right. uh, you're just a bag of, of chemicals in salt water. Mm -hmm. and so a reductionist uh, principle, huh? Uh, yeah, and uh, that part of the uh, problem there is that uh, that policy is reinforcing an anti-scientific attitude in the universities and in general uh, public understanding of what an organism is. Uh, St. Georgie uh, was one of the early people uh, recognizing that uh, life is an electronic process. And uh, Alexander Gervich, uh, even 20 or 30 years before St. Georgie, uh, was demonstrating that cells communicate uh, through uh, light. In the case of his experiments, it was in the ultraviolet region. Uh, but St. Georgie uh, emphasized that uh, resonant electrons can travel through the organism uh, and that, that opens up the possibility for, for these um, resonant interactions between uh, other frequencies, not just the high energy uh, Gervich rays, but the uh, very low energy rays, which can resonate with groups of electrons that are behaving like an antenna, uh, where uh, the reductionist sees uh, our cells as simply groups of atoms, each atom being the only thing which right. can uh, absorb radiant energy. Right. The St. Georgie model is that uh, great molecular spans uh, integrate uh, the cellular processes uh, by conductive electrons. So we are like an electrical piece of equipment. Yeah, and uh, the... Uh, in the late 1940s, uh, two Romanians uh, were the first ones to uh, show uh, coherent electronic interaction uh, producing microwaves. They basically invented the maser or the microwave amplification by stimulating emission of radiation, okay. uh, the uh, microwave equivalent of the laser. Right. And uh, just this last summer, uh, some Englishmen uh, found that they could uh, make a, a maser that operates at room temperature uh, by a coherent interaction of electrons at the microwave frequency. So now the, the physical uh, uh, non-reductionist uh, approach to matter is uh, established that that masers do exist and can work at room temperature. So now we can go back and say St. Georgie's uh, thinking wasn't entirely unrealistic. He was describing uh, the, the uh, chemistry or, or physics of a maser uh, operating in the organism, but now we know that it's actually a thing that can be manufactured and exist at room temperature.